Hey there, welcome back. Well, today we're gonna to be having a look at a brand new Zigbee controlled three gang light switch that operates without a neutral or with a neutral from Sonoff. So the Sonoff Switchman Zigbee M5 is going for $19.39 at the moment. It supports both neutral or no neutral wiring. It's also compatible with most Zigbee hubs I'm going to be connecting it with my Sonoff Zigbee Hub. Works with Home Assistant, which is what we always want. It can operate in detached relay mode, but not when you're using ZHA. Now you can create automations with other Sonoff devices within the Sonoff infrastructure, but I prefer using Home Assistant. Can be used with Home Assistant ZHA or MQTT. Wiring is pretty simple. Always remember to get an electrician involved if you're not qualified to do this. So with a neutral, you would connect live and neutral to the L and N pins over here. And then you would have the live out for each individual bulb and they would then be connected up to the neutral. If you're wiring it for no neutral, you would be connecting up the live wire to the live connection and then L1 would go to the bulb and then the neutral would go back to the mains board. L2 and L3 would then follow onto their respective bulbs. Now do remember when you're using no neutral, you have to have a minimum load of three watts at the bulb. So smart bulbs are not supported in this mode. Comes in two form factors, either the 86 type or the 80 type. The total maximum resistive load is 10 amps. Remember if you're using fluorescent bulbs, you need to use an electronic starter rather than the old fluorescent starters, which can damage electronic switches. So having a look at the switch, you've got a nice firm click from each of the switches. As you click them, you've got a little red LED, which will light up for each of the switches when they're turned on. On the back side, we've got our L1 to 3, and then our live and neutral supply wires. We've got a protective shield for once you've installed your cables. To install it, you remove the front switch plate, screw this in with the two provided screws, and then this will just click back on the front. So we'll open up our Home Assistant, go to Settings, Devices and Services, and we add a Zigbee device. And let's see if it's going to come up. There we go. It's busy interviewing. Complete. Easy as that. We'll put this in the garage for now. So we open up that. We've got our one, two, three switches. We've got a startup switch for each value or startup value for each switch. On, off, toggle or previous value. So we can set that individually per switch and disabled. We've got your LQI and RSSI. Having a look at the circuitry inside, we've got two distinct power boards. We've got this one with the three relays and the power supply system. Um, it looks to be reasonably well built. We've got some pretty big sort of soldering on the terminals and things there. And then having a look at the other side, this is the logic board that does the actual connecting to the ESP. So I'm assuming this would be some sort of an ESP32. Over here, we've got our antenna there. And then you can see here, we've got this little rubber mat that gets pressed down to actually, oh, there we go. We've got the switches in over there. We've got the three switches. So I think this is pretty good value at under $20 for a device which is operating on Zigbee. It's got three gangs and it connects with a no neutral if required. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.